to this week's episode of TNN. We are your hosts, Brianna and Maria. This week, we asked, what's your favorite Halloween movie? Let's hear what they all have to say. What is your favorite Halloween movie? My favorite Halloween movie is the original Halloween. It scared the heck out of me. I actually left the theater the first time I watched it and went and hung out with my friend that worked in the snack bar. But by the second time I saw it, I could handle the whole movie. I know there's a new one too, Halloween yeah. is. But I like the first, the original oh, original yes. was the best. What is your favorite Halloween movie? Focus, focus. One, only one. So, what is your ha favorite Halloween movie? Uh, Friday the 13th, um, the one with the psychic girl. Okay. Okay. What is your favorite Halloween movie? You know, I'm gonna go, I don't like scary movies, but one of the scariest ones was a movie called Halloween, the original one. Mm -hmm. It was way back in the 70s, and that got me. That's one of the reasons I don't watch those kind of movies, so there you go. Alright, what is your favorite Halloween movie? Um, mine has to be um, Nightmare on Elm Street. Mine would have to be The Blair Witch Project. Mine is, right now what I can think of is probably The Nightmare for Christmas. Okay. What is your favorite Halloween movie? Um, my favorite Halloween movie is It. I love how you manage. What is your favorite Halloween movie? My favorite Halloween movie has got to be either Beetlejuice or Over the Garden Wall, which isn't a Halloween movie, it's a little mini series, but I watch it every year. Okay. Beetlejuice is awesome. Mm. Alright. So, what is your favorite Halloween movie? Scream. Cool. Now you. Um, um, my favorite Halloween movie is Scream 2. Awesome. Okay. What is your favorite Halloween movie? Hocus Pocus. Hocus Pocus 2. Okay. What's my favorite Halloween movie? It's Hocus Pocus 2. What is your favorite Halloween movie? My favorite Halloween movie is um, Halloween Before Christmas. Right? My favorite move, Halloween movie is The uh, Conjuring 2. Uh, my favorite Halloween would, movie would have to be The Nightmare Before Christmas. Alright, my favorite Halloween movie is Hocus Pocus. My favorite Halloween movie would be Halloween Kills with Michael Myers. Three? Okay, there you go. My favorite movie is The Invisible Man. What about you? I like Jason. And you? Halloween Kills. Right. My favorite Halloween movie is Hocus Pocus. My favorite Halloween movie is uh, the Tim Burton one. Nightmare Before Christmas. I love that. And it's so Halloween-y. Mm -hmm. right. My favorite movie is The Wizard of Oz. Say it again. I'm going to have to go with The Exorcist because it is where I got my name from. My mom was watching it when she was pregnant with me. And my favorite movie is Halloween Ends. Hey, Chang, I'm Delilah. Our Spanish record of the week will be learning some helpful basic Spanish words for teachers and students. We have Ms. Franco here to help us out. Ms. Franco, we were wondering if you would tell us what is the Spanish word for book. Okay, so the Spanish word for book is libro. So how would you say I need a book? Necesito un libro, and please say por favor, please. One last question. If a teacher needs to tell a parent your student needs to return a book, how would you say that? Su hijo necesita traer su libro a la escuela. Thank you, Ms. Franco, for Spanish over the week. Don't forget to read, kids. I'm Childish, and I'm here with Miss Stites. To know them a little better, Miss Stites, are you ready to get started? Absolutely. What do you do here at Trainer? I am the Dean of Students, which means I support the administrators and the teachers, and first of all, the students in making sure they get a, a sound education without interruption in a safe environment. What is the best part about working here? Uh, the best part is the excitement every day. Um, the fact that I work with incredible professionals who care about uh, students and uh, students like yourselves who care to get involved and um, be part of the school community. What's the most difficult part about working here? 
most difficult part about working here is probably hearing some very inappropriate language all the time. And you do need to work on that. Yep. And some of some of the way that uh, teenagers solve their problems is a bit violent. So we need to work on speaking rather than using violent means to solve our problems. That's probably the hardest thing for me. Heartbreaking sometimes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite thing to do at home? Um, so it's probably not at home, but I'm um, what my own children call a gym rat. I like to go to the gym every day. And my favorite things, I like to do a lot of cardio, but uh, lately I've picked up some HIT classes. Those are high intensity interval training. And guess what? I also started doing uh, kickboxing. So, so I really <laughs> like it. Yeah. What's your favorite food? Oh my gosh, I have so many favorite foods. Uh, I. I really love Mexican food, um, and I love sushi, and I love Indian food. Um, I would have to say probably my favorite favorite is Thai food, food oh, from Thailand. Yeah, I love it. Is. Yeah. How far did you make it in college? I made it pretty far, I think. I'm, I have a bachelor's degree. And I have two master's degrees. So, oh. and very recently, I uh, received the certif certificate in parent coaching. So to help your parents deal with you. Oh. Yeah. I probably have the most sympathy for parents of teenagers. Poor people. Where's Poor the most those. exciting place you've ever been? The most exciting place I've ever been. Jeez. Um, this summer, my husband and I traveled to Costa Rica, and I've never done this. I mean, this was such a surprise. I didn't know we were going to stay there, but we stayed in an eco-lodge. Do you know what an eco-lodge is? An eco-lodge is basically like a hut in the middle of the jungle. So at night, it was raining, and we could hear howler monkeys, and I saw uh, viper snakes, and um, I, I actually saw a, like, uh, a mutual, mutual of Homa, Omaha moment where there was a snake and a toad fighting it out. It was, it was Brutal. scary. But exciting, I'm not yeah. going to lie. And we did some uh, zip lining, so that was really exciting. It was a very exciting trip. Pura Vida, Costa Rica. What yeah. was your favorite subject in school? My favorite subject in school was um, ELA, English Language Arts. And I became an English Language Arts teacher because of it. I loved reading. Um, I came from... Um, Humble means my parents were not rich, so we didn't travel a lot. Mm -hmm. So books always gave me that excitement. excitement to go places that I never thought I'd be. And, um, and I just love language. I love languages, so I studied languages too in school. What's the best advice for trainer students? My best advice for trainer students is remember your, your children, enjoy your childhood, don't rush to be adults because once you're an adult, it's all over. So be children, um, enjoy your friends, uh, don't right away start you know fighting and talking trash to one another, respect one another, enjoy your childhood, that's the best thing you have right now. What's your favorite Halloween movie? Uh, they just asked me that. My favorite Halloween movie, and I don't know if it's a Halloween movie, but I think it is. It's Nightmare Before Christmas. I really, really love the artistic. I love Tim Burton's artistic uh, display of all of that. I think it took probably very long time to film. And I love the music. It's incredible. Thank you for letting us get to forget to say hi to Mr. Stage when you see them in the building or walking around them. Go Vikings. Go Vikings.
There's always something happening here at Trainer. Here's our special announcements for this week. Hi. So we're leadership, and we have a few quick announcements. Okay, first off, talkies for no tardies. If if you are not tardy, then good job. Keep on working up that um, talkie for no tardy limit. So, also, you can't wear costumes on Halloween. I know, like, you, you would like to, and, like, the costumes are good for you. But, um... You you also have to learn on Halloween, but okay. So any person that has costumes that day will be dress coded. I repeat, will be dress coded. Okay. So, and also, um, a quick reminder: don't rip the posters down. Um, the leadership kids are doing everything that they can to like um, provide you a safe learning environment and make it a little fun. So please, reminder. Not to um, pull the posters down or the door decorations. So that's leadership, and we have a few quick announcements. Okay, go go Vikings! Happy Friday, everybody. I just want to do a quick reminder that it is against our school rules and actually against the law to have your cameras out recording when something bad is happening. And from now on, that is going to be logged as instigation of a fight and will be a suspension equal to that of those fighting, which is, remember, three days for the first one, five, then ten. So please, as I ask, keep those phones off and away so we can focus on learning here. Thanks so much. Have a great week. Hey, it's me, Mrs. Reynolds. Okay, a couple of things. If you have any books that are overdue, bring them back or renew them. It's not a big deal, and it's easy to do. And then also, we have the ghost scavenger hunt. That is still going on and that ends this Thursday and then we also have vote for your favorite picture in the library window and that contest ends on Thursday too. All right if you have any questions let me know. Thank you. I chose this program to learn new things like welding and machining and milling. My teacher checks my grades a lot, and if my grades in other classes are bad, he doesn't let me do stuff at the shop. You're more interested and invested in school because you're doing stuff that you're actually going to be using, and it definitely gives us the um, skills that we need to be workforce ready by the time we graduate. When you come into class every day, you can incorporate all your classes together and put them together. Maths and sciences have always interested me a lot more than the English and language. I'm enjoying learning how to problem solve. That's a skill not a lot of kids our age have. You don't ever want to miss a day at school. It's a very good way to get you know connected with your career in medicine. It's reinforced that passion within me to pursue healthcare to help people. I feel like it gets you ready for college because it's all honors and AP classes. I'll have the extra credits to like move forward in the medical field if I wanted to. I want to be a pediatric oncologist, which is a kid's cancer doctor. Whether you know what you're going to do or you don't know what you're going to do, you'll definitely have something to take out of this program at the end. It builds character and good habits in school, and I recommend it 100%. Now I know it's really something I want to continue in my life because I got the opportunity to do it in high school. We have a lot of freedom to push ourselves and so it's up to us. So I learn a lot about communication and setting goals with people and I think that's going to help me in any line of work I go through. So one day I could be making a platform, the next day I could be sewing a costume. Doing what you love to do and also learning new things that you never knew you loved to do. The only reason <laughs> why I'm getting really good grades in my other classes is because of the theater program. It's because I'm so excited and I want to represent it well. I love to draw. I've loved drawing since I was little, so seeing a practical application for those skills was something that really amazed me. I think technical skills and working together as a team are some of the most valuable things that I've learned. You get to learn so many things in depth. It's taught me how to do a lot of things that I never thought I would be able to do. 
Well, I hope to use uh, the skills that Wooster's provided me. It's definitely a lot of work and I think it's prepared me pretty well for like going on to college. I think the global perspective approach that they have in the curriculum is very important. And I think that it's encouraged me to want to make more meaningful contributions to my community. It's gonna put me on track to take those harder classes when I'm older and it'll basically just set me up for more job opportunities. I do want to be an elementary school teacher. I love working with the preschoolers. They're so much fun. You can really learn a lot from them. I'm still talking to all of the people in my class that are doing like A days because I'm a B day student. Keeping us together and keeping us all still having the same high school experience. We're constantly working on projects together even though we are different days and we're working very well together. We've grown so much like as a family through the years. This program really has like inspired everyone who is interested in the field and we all do really well academically. And I think this class has really taught me how to love school. It really helps me especially like with the teacher pushing me. We get to kind of do anything you can imagine, woodworking, electrical, plumbing, it's so much fun. It really helps me stay focused and have goals so I don't get discouraged. I have all the experience, I don't have to learn. I can start off at like a higher tier, I guess you could say, when I get a job. It has shown me how much hard work I have to put into things and what I can get out of something when I do put the hard work into it. Hi, my name is Matt McKay. I'm a coordinator with Hi, my name is Matt McKay. I'm a coordinator with the Washoe County School District Signature Academy and Career and Tech Ed Department. And we'd like to invite all of our eighth graders and their families out to this year's Passport to High School Success Night. Passport to High School Success Nights are a great chance for you and your family to come and learn about all the different educational opportunities that are available to you in Washoe County School District. Once you get into high school, you have the chance to learn about agriculture and natural resources, or business and marketing, or information technology, or if you want to pursue a career in the military, and if you're interested in military science, or if skilled and technical, and automotive and construction and welding and engineering are more of your cup of tea, these are the events for you. So we'd love to see you and your families at one of our Passport to High School nights coming this November, and we we'll hope to see you there.
How we doing? Hey, Mr. West. Hi, Mr. Nevins. Did you hear about the scarecrow? Saw it on the news. He got an award. The scarecrow won an award? What? He was outstanding in his field. <laughs> of course he was. Of course he was. Bye, guys. Have a good week.